when light bulbs are connected in series. The total resistance in the circuit increases as you add more bulbs. In a series circuit, the current, the flow of electricity, remains constant throughout the circuit. Each light bulb offers resistance to the flow of current. The total resistance in a series circuit is the sum of the individual resistances of all components, in this case, the light bulbs in the circuit. When we turn on the switch, the current flow through the circuit and 5 watt bulb turn on because of low resistance. Here is two 5 watt bulbs in series. When you connect two 5 watt bulbs in series, the total resistance in the circuit is relatively low because there are only two resistances in the circuit. This allows enough current to flow through both bulbs, causing them to light up. When you connect two 40 watt bulbs in series, the total resistance in the circuit is much higher due to the higher resistance of the 40 watt bulbs. When we turn on the switch, this results in a significantly lower current flowing through the circuit. As a result, the bulbs may not receive enough current to produce visible light or may appear very dim or flicker briefly before going out. In a series circuit, if the total resistance becomes too high, the circuit may not be able to provide enough current to make the bulbs shine brightly or at all. This is why bulbs with higher resistance, E, G, 40 watt bulbs, may not work as expected in a series circuit. To have them work properly, you would need to reduce the total resistance in the circuit or switch to a parallel circuit where each bulb has its own separate path for current flow.